Dios el mundo a tus pies Tanta gente en tus manos Sin nunca dudar de quién eres Seducir es tu gran adicción what it is what it's you guys my name is Zach Jones this is a long way to go so I'm sure what you guys saw was a bunch of b-roll uh, I didn't really film my first evening here super crazy um, I'm currently here in Mexico and the trip here is me traveling through Mexico for about 11 days or 13 days and then heading to Panama so I'm here I met my friend Mia that's over there filming and we're gonna be taking on the trip um, that we're taking right now. So the thing is that normally in my videos, I have a much earlier intro and things like that, but the filming got completely messed up. Um, I ended up having to, getting delayed, then rescheduling my flight, ending up in Atlanta. It was supposed to be direct, so the whole thing got kind of wild, um, leading to me getting into Cancun, into the city at 9 p.m., and ultimately into Valle de Lid um, at 1.30 a.m. So. Clearly just a crazy time being crammed on a bus, um, two and a half hour bus ride, um, but it was all worth it. We're here now. I'm currently at Ek Balam, which is a Mayan ruin, um, and we're doing a bit of exploring. So um, what you'll see is a bunch of clips are from earlier today, I'm sure. I'll put in some of the cenotes we went to visit. What are their names? I'm so bad. Um, oh my God, but what was it? Something with a D. Sim Simul? Or Sim Sim Simul. And then... And then I don't remember the other one. It's with an X, but that's kind of what's been happening. Just a wild first day. I kind of took the first day to take my time and enjoy myself. Try spending time with this lovely lady. Um, for, the, for the rest of the trip, I'll be filming much more and kind of trying to give more information on some of the things that we're seeing. So, uh, Ekbalam, we're here for the last hour, so we weren't able to get a tour. But I will do a little bit of research, put some facts, you know, on the side here when I'm talking uh, and on some of the B-roll. So we are halfway up the pyramid, heading up this way. So I'll see you guys at B-roll at the top. Man, what a view from up here, but now we're hiking down. So wish us the best of luck. What it is, what it do, guys. Day two, or second full day of Mexico. Um, we're here at Hotel Casa Bamboo. It's gonna show you guys around a little bit. This pool at night is really nice because Cascade's over here and has lights, but it was a bit cold. So, seating area, outdoor bathroom. Um, yeah, just a nice, cool, quiet place right by the bus terminal. It's about a block and a half from the bus terminal. So if you have like bags or things that you're worried about um, that are heavy or things like that, this is a great place. The location was really cheap. I think I paid like 68 for two nights. So not bad at all. I'm about to show you guys the room. It's a bit of a mess, but I'm trying to be better about recording in the beginning, but. Pretty simple. The basics. Um, but today we're going to a few new locations here at um or in outside Vela de Lid. Um so I wrote them down because I was butchering all the names yesterday. We're gonna be going to Chichican, uh, Cenote, Iglesia de Uma, which is like a like a church or cathedral kind of thing. There's uh Chinsanitza, which is pretty well known, of course, big tourist spot. And we're going to Ike Kiel, which is another cenote. So that's the plan. Obviously things may change. Uh, I'm excited to get on the road and let's get going. here at Chichi Khan. We're actually the first people. We had to wait on the scooter for like 10 minutes for the place to open. Um, but it's really beautiful. It's like a garden, beautiful flowers. Mia's probably gonna steal half of them. <laughs> but it's super nice. If you show up early, most of the cenotes, 
so far, which is this will be our fourth, um, are pretty much empty until about lunchtime. So getting there early is definitely worth it because right now we're the first people here. There was no one else besides the employees in the parking lot. So we're gonna get like the whole part of the morning pretty much probably to ourselves for at least 10, 15 minutes, if not longer. And even with that, at the other cenotes, there's probably 15 people total for really big swimming areas. So um, we'll see how this one is. And it looks like we have arrived. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa, I don't know if you can see on camera. This is epic. Holy. This is so beautiful. What? And we're the only ones here. Yeah. Whoa. Oh boy, this staircase is cray cray. Oh boy. All right, scale of one to 10, what would you rate it on the cenote list so far? This is number four, or number three, technically. We stopped at one, didn't go in. Yeah, so I would say this one is a nine. Ooh, high rating from the lady, nine. I mean, this is pretty incredible. Um, it's probably hard to tell from the view on the camera because this is a GoPro, um, and we have some like pretty harsh lighting on the back, but it's just probably like in feet, probably like 65, 70 feet or so above us here. This gorgeous area to walk down. I don't know if you can see in the water, but the platform goes all the way out to like under the waterfall. So going to spend some time here, it's just us. We have the whole snow to ourselves. So pretty magical and Is this a hidden gem? Hidden gem? But yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this and we'll see what we get to a little bit. So we've arrived in the town of Uma to see this. Um, this is a, a church I was learning about. Uh, Mia found it on the on the list, but uh, it's called Inglesia de Uma, which is basically the town of the, the name of this town, and it basically translates in Mayan to English as like the water or spring by the tree. So this town was basically essentially designed to spread Christianity here on the Yucatan Peninsula. The, it was one of the, the last stop on the road to Valladolid. So this was like where the, the conquistadors would come basically from Merida, and this would be the last stop before they hit the main town, um, with the goal of obviously turning everyone Christian. So this is it right here. Unfortunately, it's not open till 4 p.m. Uh, so we're not gonna be able to go inside. We're just kind of exploring town. It's a nice, beautiful town, nice square around here. Um, you know, just a few tourists here and there, but mostly pretty much everyone's local, so. Um, you know, we'll see what ends up happening. I think we're just gonna head to Chinsanitsa after this, grab a, grab a snack, and then we'll head out. Muerte lenta para un corazón 